Hello everybody. Um, this video is in reply to a question that's posted on our bulletin board at flexoexchange.com slash forum. And it's posted by uh, our new friend Antonio. And um, I think it's such an excellent question. <coughs> Excuse me, because it, it, it makes us think about uh, uh, something that I brought up in an earlier discussion about bare cylinder diameter, the very first video that I put on this uh, Ugly Flexo forum, and that's uh, the whole concept of bare cylinder diameter, how to calculate it, and the concept of the introduction of an over-impression condition by uh, either our plate manufacturers or our cylinder manufacturers or both. So, uh, what I'm excited about is that this, allow, this, this, uh, this question allows us to explore that. So if you've come on, this is a YouTube uh, video, if you've come on to this video by mistake, you're going to be crying with boredom by the time I'm done here. So, but if you're in the flexo industry, uh, I would recommend to anybody to, to, be, uh, to listen to this discussion. And I think it's an area of investigation that our industry really needs to explore. And uh, I'm going to challenge the industry to do that, to give us reasons and numbers as to whether or not to introduce over-impression conditions, which I want to talk about now, and if so, why? And quantify how much and qualify. How much of an over-impression condition under what conditions? And uh, what... Uh, how does uh, various thickness of uh, materials on a flexo press impact the decision to introduce an over-impression condition? These are challenges that we need to look at. But let me, uh, what I want to do is I want to just simply read Antonio's post on the bulletin board. I'm going to try to embed this on the information associated with this, this video on YouTube and Ugly Flexo. And I'm going to embed the video on uh, the bulletin board so you'll have this write-up. Uh, the question, Antonio's question, uh, on the bulletin board also for you to look at. So I'm not going to do, be doing much writing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this and I'm going to have a conversation about some certain points and it may or may not require some illustration on the board at that point. But you may want to have a printout of uh, Antonio's uh, question in hand or just have it accessible or you might get lost. All right. Dear Sirs, I am starting reading your interesting articles published on Flexo Exchange. I am a beginner in the Flexo print. Well, Antonio, welcome to Flexo. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I love flexography. I think most people that get involved into flexography really, really start to love it. And uh, I hope it's something that, 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 that happens for you too. It's a very challenging technology. And... Uh, um, it's an evolving technology and it's something that everybody can bring something to, including yourself. So, welcome. Uh, cylinders. We are in the process to acquire new cylinders for our Flexo printer machine to print poly paper. We have two sizes of cylinder as per teeth, 87 and 74. And so I, take a, uh, I, I understand you're a Hispanic, so there's a little accent here in the writing, and that's okay. And I, might, I may do this video in Spanish also, Antonio. Uh, I have to think about it, because there's a challenge already in one language, and to do this in two languages, but, but it could be something that I do. Uh, okay. We, so, so Antonio says that he has uh, his two cylinder sizes, 87 teeth and 74 teeth that he's looking at. They're, they're looking at new cylinders for the flexo press, right? And uh, so, by the way, under this discussion, we're gonna focus on one of them. We're gonna pick the 87 tooth. We're not gonna look at both scenarios. So the 87 tooth will be enough as an example. We plan to use a sleeve, so let's remember that, plus sticky back, plus print, uh, print plate for each print product that we will produce in the future with this machine. Okay, so they're gonna put sleeves on there. Uh, and they could be air mount or uh, something else, usually air mount uh, sleeves. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that you can mount uh, plates on these sleeves and slide them off. Place flexo cylinders like an air hockey situation where you inflate and slide these things off of there. 
and slide them back on and you can keep mounted plates in inventory. It's on the sleeves that you just have to put the sleeve on there in the future. Our supplier of cylinder uh, has recommended, and by the way, <clears throat> Antonio, because you've, uh, you're going to be using sleeves and because your question is associated with bare cylinder diameter, I want to tell you right now that whatever decision you make and whatever bare cylinder diameter you arrive at, you need to make sure that you communicate the sleeve manufacturer with the cylinder manufacturer and that they communicate so that the sleeve is, um, it, you know, so that, that all of that is taken into consideration so that the sleeve goes on and performs like it's supposed to on, on that cylinder that you specify, okay? All right. So our supplier of cylinder has recommended sleeve type printing cylinder information, 87 tooth, 10 pitch, 27.332 repeat, 8.7 pitch diameter, 8.520 bare cylinder diameter, this is in inches, 0 .010, uh, that's twice the sleeve thickness because that's the impact on the diameter, 0 .040 which is twice the sticky back thickness of 20 thousandths because that's the influence on the diameter and 0 .134 which is 67 thousandths times 2 because the plate uh, the plate's influence uh, is manifest twice on, on the print diameter. Okay, and then less 0 .004, uh, which is the 2,000 squeeze factor times 2. Okay, um, let's go down this list, and I'm going to talk about a few things. Okay, so we're going to we're going to take a couple of detours, but I think they're very good concepts, and that's why I like this idea of the video, because I could never write this, and it's a good well, an opportunity if you and I were in your plant. And we were having a conversation, we might have a conversation like this, okay?